This is Credit Matters, and I am Larry Witte, Senior Director with Global Fixed Income Research at S&P Global Ratings. In 2016, there were two defaults among the sovereign obligors that S&P Global rates. This was one more than in 2015 and the fifth consecutive year with at least one sovereign default. Including the default in 2016, S&P Global Ratings lowered 24 sovereign ratings and raised nine. Rating actions were less numerous, but the number of downgrades was the highest since 2011. At the beginning of 2016, S&P Global Ratings had ratings on 130 sovereigns. At the end of the year, 24 of those had lower ratings, 9 had higher ratings, and 95 remained unchanged. The downgrades included two defaults by Mozambique and the Republic of Congo. In addition, we withdrew two ratings, Kyrgyz Republic and Gabon, and assigned one new rating to Nicaragua. Six of the downgrades were two notches, two downgrades were four notches, one was three notches, one was five notches, and one was for six notches. All upgrades were of one notch. Most of the multi-notch downgrades happen at the lower end of the rating scale, where ratings are less stable, often prior to a default. A notable exception was the rating on the UK, which was lowered by two notches following the referendum for that nation to leave the European Union or Brexit. Downgrades of foreign currency sovereign ratings have outnumbered upgrades in eight of the last nine years. In 2016, the ratio of 2.67 downgrades for every upgrade was the second highest ever to the ratio of 3.17 downgrades to one upgrade in 2013. By contrast, from 2000 to 2007, upgrades were consistently more commonplace than upgrades. At the start of 2017, 13 sovereigns had negative outlooks, while only six sovereign ratings had positive outlooks. This 5 to 1 ratio indicates that downgrades will likely continue to outnumber upgrades over the next 12 months. From 1975 to 2016, on average, 96.7% of sovereigns rated AAA at the beginning of the year were rated AAA at the end of the year, 90.5% after three years, 84.7% after five years, 75.4% after 10 years, and 69.8% after 15 years. Moreover, in the 15-year transition rate table, 27.7% of sovereigns rated AAA at the beginning of the period were rated in the AA category at the end of 15 years. In addition to examining the absolute performance of ratings, we examined their relative performance. Using the Gini coefficient, where values closer to 1 indicate a strong bias toward lower rated sovereigns in the distribution of defaults. The sovereign foreign currency Gini coefficients for the 1, 3, 5, and 7 year horizons are 93%, 79%, 74%, and 74% again, respectively. The sovereign local currency Gini coefficients for the 1, 3, 5, and 7 year horizons are 87%, 73%, 66% and 63% respectively. These are high coefficients, indicating that defaults are much more likely to occur among lower rated sovereigns. For more information, please read our transition and default study on sovereign ratings in 2016. And thank you again for watching.